Now we're going to work on a really tough transition. We're going to go from a free chongo to a drop knee to free chongo. By free chongo, I mean our hands are up and not touching the line. I'll do it on the ground a little bit so you can kind of see what this will look like, although it'll be a little easier to do it on the line in the ground. Idea of free chongo would be this leg is free and floating while you're on the line. You'll be here, bringing this ankle over, stepping across into drop knee, turning this foot out, bringing this leg that's drop knee out, free, back over, stepping across. Okay, let's give an example of what it's like on the line. Before trying this flow, I highly recommend checking out the Slacker Bass tutorials on how to do chongo and how to do drop knee. You get some helpful tips so that this flow will actually flow. To start, I'm putting all my weight on this leg that's on the line, bent, arms, and leg are free. I'm focusing quite a bit on the opposite anchor. I'm putting the weight into the back foot as I bring this leg up. Drop the ankle on the line, a little help balance here, and then stepping across into a drop knee. Okay, so now to go into chongo, I'm taking this front foot, turning the toes out, putting weight into the front foot as I come off this back leg and bring it into a free chongo again. Okay, use your breath, move with your breath, inhaling this leg up, exhaling it onto the line, inhaling as you step. Exhaling as you settle. Turn the foot out. Move the weight. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Okay. That's chongo to drop knee. Free chongo to drop knee. This one's tough. Give it a few tries. Take it slow. Don't give up on yourself. You can do it.